Hello friends of the Northern Entertainment and welcome to another episode of my Emergency 5 Let's Play series. We are in Berlin, the German capital city and uh, as you can see we are done. Last week we uh, had the last call out for um, Hamburg and uh, now we are actually in Berlin here, the last city as far as I know for the campaign. Um, as you can see here, we have to deal with, uh, well, I don't know if it's mass casualty, it's four casualties anyway, so we're gonna send one more doctor vehicle, and we need also, no, we don't need you, but the last ambulance is needed here, and then we're gonna go up here, where we already have two sick people standing around so you gotta hurry a little bit up here and as you can see with the last update it broke a little bit uh, the re project reality lights at least for me and i didn't feel the love for uh, redoing everything so what i did in the end was i just uh, Left the original lights for now, which is fine. Uh, plus, I noticed the... Well, you probably noticed that too in the last episode. The project reality lights do not turn off. Uh, when you... Okay, that sounded like a dude. So there's... Probably... Yeah, there we go. Okay. I assume this lady here was the first one that was uh, infected. Probably with meningitis or something. So you better take care of her, buddy. Uh, meanwhile, we are going back to our building that collapsed. Drive over there. There you go. And I mean, yes, they are not as nice, those lights, but as you can see, they stay with the vehicle, and uh, thus, I I just, for now, I'm gonna leave those up until uh, the project reality lights get updated. But it got very, very quiet around that mod anyway, so uh, we'll see, we'll see. Yeah, this vehicle here, as you can see, uh, was a uh, victim, or was... Uh, the um the scene of a gas explosion uh, no fire was to be found so that part i guess uh, was lucky and so, so far that we don't have to worry about uh, fires at the moment although fires are fun to deal with but it's all good quickly come over here and I mean the the original lights yeah they are not that great but in the end they are not not that bad either because you still have uh, reflection everywhere and uh, so that works nicely so we have one two three and four building buried under heavy Person buried under her. Oh, well, that one is new. All right, so, well, they said there is a whole bunch of new callouts. So I was really, I'm, I was uh, very curious to see all those new callouts. Now, of course, we need, we need. Come on, quickly, quickly heal him so we can pick him up and get going. Okay, so that was number... Uh-oh. Come 
Could be that one person just died. That's quite possible. Would be very unfortunate, but what do you do? Okay, and we need... Actually, let's use the emergency vehicle that's over here already. Traffic accident. Okay. Oh, it's never boring. How much is for sure? Okay, so, of course we know what we have to do here. And that is grab the old chainsaw. I wonder if he's wearing... Hmm, maybe not. Using rescue vehicles. Okay. Hmm. Well, that would have been nice if we would have... No, well. It is what it is. Okay. So we definitely need the police and... Uh, yeah, this is getting interesting here. Where was... Up here, I think we have... The rest of the rescue team. Sitting right now. to get back to our traffic accident because this is getting a little bit out of hand. Actually, go over here. In a way that you don't get burned. There you go. It would be really nice if we had uh, if we had uh, what's it called um, not high visibility vests but you cannot have them all as you guys know uh, sounds like The doctor just arrived, which is good. Alright guys, get to it then. Please. Actually, you go ahead and grab a... The rescue cutters or the jaws of life. And I guess it's fortunate in a way that this all happened in a roundabout. Because that way we just have to close down one one side of the road. We have one fire here almost under control, so we can start cutting them out. Perfect, perfect. Oh wow, listen to that fire roar. Listen to that fire. Very nice. Alright, so we got the second person out, so our emergency doctors at this point can go into the scene. I love the fact that... What is she doing?
Hmm, must be under shock. Interesting. Yep, there she goes. I do love the fact that uh, they actually drag them out of the vehicle. Those are all the little things that I was hoping for that we see in Emergency 5, and that's exactly what we've seen, uh, or what we see now. That is that the game just as a whole went to a different level. Um, uh, is there room for improvement? There's always room for improvement. And uh, also... Oh man, we need, we need, we need, we need, we need. We need this little guy urgently over here. No, over here. There. So you can just take care of that. You, meanwhile, can go here, you can back to quarters. Coming back here to the Incident and both are now stable. They can be transported, which is nice. Um, we're going to send two ambulance. One and two. You guys are done. So we got the person freed. At this point, our emergency doctor should be already... He's on the scene. He's not out of his vehicle yet, though. Can at this point go back to quarters and it looks like he leaves oh yeah it makes sense of course it's a crane he would leave the amber beacons on to go back because it is a crane it's an oversized overweight vehicle so yeah amber lights are absolutely fine And you can just get into here. You guys are good to go. How are we doing here, bud? Yeah, he's not doing all that good. What do we have here still? Sitting. Alright, okay. He's just going back to quarters. As he should. As he should. So the emergency doctors are going back with the ambulances. The uh, the station wagons are going back uh, empty, just to make sure that the um, no, just to make sure that the patients are in good care. And this is actually this this would have been real life uh, procedure too. Uh, most of the time, the emergency doctor will go um, with the ambulance and the station wagon or whatever was the, the uh, fast response will just head on home empty or to the hospital because those emergency doctors most of the time work out of the hospital. And we're just gonna pick up here. Um, we're gonna pick up the cars. Meanwhile, now here, of course, we're gonna send an ambulance just as we did before. And again, the doctor is going to go back with the ambulance.
just waiting here for the ambulance to arrive, which is coming up here right away. Okay, they are heading back now. As you can see, there is still a little bit debris from the accident, but that shall not be our problem. We are just waiting here for the ambulance to arrive, and the ambulance just arrived on scene. So, uh, fire department at this point can head back. But look at this, how nicely they just wait behind the fire truck. There is no, no problem. No craziness going on. Please don't run into my emergency doctor. Thank you very much. And yeah, again, see all those reflections on the asphalt and whatnot. So overall, the graphic quality of the game is without a doubt right there, right up there. And... Uh, no problems with that. Oh, no way. It looked like... Oh, yes. Awesome. So that is working now. That is awesome. Um, so the doctor actually... Oh, wait a second. Did I or did I? I'm, I'm not sure anymore. Oh, wait. We need you. We need you. What do we have? We have... Okay, we need the turntable ladder as well. So, we sent the truck. Might as well follow him. Scania turntable turn ladder. And I cannot wait for the first big mods for this game, because once those are out, that's going to be amazing. Just amazing. However, you have to keep one thing in mind, and that is that... Uh, um, no, nah, that is that... Overall... The quality of mods has to really step up to stay up to par with the game. I mean, in uh, Emergency 4, because it was such an old game, after now, uh, well, not even six years, it's uh, 2006, now it's 2015, nine years actually already. Um, um, guys, what, what, what? Why? Oh boy. Okay, we need more. This is not gonna do it. Um, but... You have to see the general quality that we're looking at now. And this game really, it sets new, uh, a new standard. I mean, again, I say, look at this, look at the reflections. And I also noticed, and I think I mentioned that, when it rains, there's not many people on the road. Which makes sense, because that is how it would be in real life. Oh, credits, 1900, let's see. Let's buy one of the, oh, a decon. Yes. Okay, we need a ambulance, please. You can help here for the time being. I love also the fact how the hoses, and I said that before, but I can just uh, repeat myself on this one. I have to repeat myself on this one is how I love how the 
hoses um, are now dynamically following. Okay, so we got that done. As it turns out, we wouldn't have needed the... the second engine, but that's okay. That is perfectly fine. But guys, looking at the time here, I think it is time to say goodbye for this week. Um, as you can see, the weather is definitely getting worse. And uh, yeah. Oh yeah, well now we have uh, a full-blown thunderstorm. Very nice. I can just... Medical emergency, hey? But, uh, yeah, as I said, uh, for today, uh, that is the end of our little stay in Berlin. Oh, yeah. Now there's actually the whole road is wet and not only a little bit as the rain got heavier. That is amazing. But, again, for the last time now, I say thank you so much to, for watching and uh, I hope you guys have a great day. And God bless you.